this live cattle market caught just a little bit of uh, altitude here, Oliver. Yeah, it did, and, and we're right up against those highs that we saw back at the uh, kind of midway point of the month, uh, September 16th uh, through the 18th, uh, right up here, 112 and a half, and I wouldn't be surprised to see the market maybe fizzle out a little bit here and continue to chop uh, in a relatively sideways fashion here as we head into tomorrow, which I think will probably keep a lot of people sitting on their hands ahead of that cattle on feed report after the close. If we do get a friendly number, potentially we break out above this area and we can see some funds add to their length that we've seen them continuously add over the past couple months. The top end of the recent range going back to last month, August 19th comes in at 114.02. Uh, That's going to be the next line in the sand. However, a failure to get a, a bullish report and maybe failure to uh, hold this ground going into next week trade probably takes us down to the low end of the range, about 107. So basically looking for things to come into a little bit more of a range. And right now we're just kind of right smack dab in the middle. All right. October uh, feeder cattle up 72 at 142.25. November up 67 at 142.32. What are your thoughts on this uh, October hog contract? It's up a dime at 69.60, but you go out to that December, the one that everybody's kind of watching, down 97 at 63.37. The rest of those contracts all lower here. Yeah, a lot of the volume has shifted out to that December contract. We see about twice as much volume in that December right now. So that's going to be the month of focus for us. And obviously, we've seen a lot of volatility through the uh, month of September, that big move higher, a little bit of long liquidation. Now we're kind of finding a little bit of an equilibrium. The top end of the recent range here over the last two weeks has been about 65. On the low end, we're looking about 61, 62. I w really wouldn't be too surprised to see us break and close below that 62 handle if we do get uh, – a little bit of a bullish or a bearish catalyst. And if that does happen, I wouldn't be surprised to see the market go fill that gap from September 10th. And that comes in closer to about six or 59.50 to 60. So that's going to be the area to keep a very close eye on. But I think that might represent value going forward. Hey, Oliver, earlier we were talking about exports and the dollar. The dollar is just a little bit weaker here, but we're still holding in here around that 94, 300 level in that area. Um, what are you hearing from the trade? Are they expecting this dollar to go ahead and firm? Yeah, it, 94 is a big barrier. That was previous resistance, and before it became resistance, it was a breakdown point. If we can maintain strength above this 94 handle, I really think that mm -hmm. there's upward mobility to 96, and that right. could put a little bit of a headwind in commodities.